What's up guys, it's Holbert from Muffin Group and in this video I would like to discuss about the dynamic data. What are they? How to use them and where? What are they for? What can we create with them? I will answer all these questions in this video. Dynamic data is a collection of data such as content, titles, images, excerpts, etc at your disposal anywhere on the page. No matter if you are building another site for a client, shop or any other project, these data are always at hand. Dynamic data has nothing more than just a string of characters and close between curly braces, the so-called mustache. In practice, you will actually use a few that are easy to remember like title, content, excerpt, featured image, etc. For example, if you put the featured image tag, it will be replaced with featured image of that specific page you are actually working on. You just need time to get to know them better. Okay, but you are probably wondering where to get them from. Relax, I will explain. Working with the builder and using the available elements. Each has various fields like title, content, image, etc. Next to each of those fields, you will find a database icon. After clicking on this icon, a pop-up will appear where we can choose from the various available data. All data has been sorted in terms of the places they come from and are available on the fly thanks to the search located in the right top corner of that pop-up model. Please note that different fields have different available data. Some fields do not have such database icon because we didn't saw the point of using it for every field. But this doesn't mean that in such a field the data won't work. If for some reason in, in a text editor you want to use a specific dynamic data, you can simply copy and paste it where you need it. Yes, it's that simple. It should also be remembered that we will not always have access to a given data and this is because simply from the level of the page we are working on at the moment, it may simply be unavailable. In such case, nothing will be displayed in frontend and data will be visible only from the B builder. When creating this feature, we wanted it to be as universal as possible. We tried to simplify everything as much as possible, thanks to which we will be using tags such as title or content, and not post title or post content. The tags we refer to refer to the specific page we are working on at a given moment. Thus, if you are working on a regular page, Tag title will refer to the page title, but featured image to the featured image of that page. Thanks to this, if we change our mind in the future that we want this page to be a portfolio page and not a regular page, we don't have to change all the tags on the page and destroy all elements we already built. Because for the portfolio page, they will refer to the data of the portfolio page and you are absolutely not limited in any way. What we can actually create with dynamic data? The answer is pretty simple. We can build advanced websites without writing a single line of code. Using dynamic data in combination with the available elements, the possibilities are enormous. In fact, you can create your own elements displaying what you want, where you want, at any given time. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com. I hope I was able to explain what dynamic data is and how to use it. All the fun begins in conjunction with our loop builder, but more on that in the next video, 
which you can now go to by clicking the thumb on the left side. 